Tonight, a home in South Omaha riddled with bullet holes. The family on edge as this isn't the first time this has happened to them. Colin Ruane continues our coverage with a story you will only see right here on 6. Somebody shooting my house Thursday night, like 940. And they Hilda Carreno the shake it as violence hasn't hit close to home. It's hit her home. Bullets grazing her cars, her garage door, even a hole not far from one of her windows. I am scary when I go to sleep. Carreno lives in South Omaha. She tells us the shooting happened Thursday night, but it's not the first time she's had to survey such damage. Yeah, this happened like in June in this year. This is the second time. The scariest part of all, her family was home. I was sleeping in my room. And I don't know where I just hear bang, bang, bang. 14 year old Rogelio Lopez now terrified to say the least. My first thought was I could have been killed. That was my first thought. I got kind of nervous. Omaha police have now been out here twice, Carino tells us, taking photos and reports of what happened. The trouble is she can't provide authorities with any leads. I don't know. I don't have any problem with nobody. And I live in the same house for 20, 20 years or 22 years. Now considering the possibility of moving, the family remains on edge. It's scary that it can happen like another time. So this is the second time. It could probably have the third time. You never know. And the family is staying proactive. They plan to buy cameras so they have an extra set of eyes watching outside of their house. That's on top of a home security system they already have in place. And Jessica, in the meantime, they just hope that Omaha police are able to find whoever's responsible for all of this. Let's hope they do. Colin, thanks for that live report tonight.